Hey there, guys. Welcome back to Get Going Fast, where we're going to get into this excellent hobby of AI in a quick and efficient manner in which you actually might learn something. So today we are going to be playing with our comfy UI again, and we're going to do something real simple. We are just going to be uh, working on bring my video over here. You saw me looking at my other screen over there. We're going to be uh, just working on generating images from a bat file. So yesterday during our live Q&A, we were talk, someone actually talked this up about how do we do this. So we went and we found a workflow and it was all groovy and great. And I found it is so easy. Uh, you can do this in like less than five minutes. So I'm going to walk you through how to do this. Um, really excellent. So I mean, we'll literally just take a, a file. We can put however many different uh, prompts in there with us then we'll throw it into comfy UI and it's going to do it we're also going to use chat gpt to help us come up with our prompts and to format them for us because that is the real power of um of these huge models is that you can throw large amounts of data into them and have them do incredible stuff with it so we're going to do that but first i want to thank you so much for liking the channel and subscribing we're growing and you're part of it feels good to be part of something kind of as it's beginning isn't it you guys are the beginning of all of this and thus you are earning valor and glory that will be sang of in the halls of the klingons for decades to come and that's a good feeling so great good to know thanks for being part of that and sharing with others so we are going to move on be sure to uh, like us on the instagrams and be sure to like us over on the reddits come find us and share your stuff come over to the discord happy to help you um join up on the get going fast site and you get to play with this stuff all day long which is pretty much what i do i just play with the stuff all day long and i'm helping you guys because it really is such an awesome hobby so yo happy to have you uh in the meanwhile let's move on and get to the yo and yo okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our comfy ui this is just your base um image generation thing here and you can actually get here by uh Clicking on this, I need to make my window a little bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. That should be better. So we're going to just, you can click up here under workflow and you just click on browse templates. We're just going to use this basic thing, this image generation. And that's this. It's just this, your basic, most simple uh, generator. You just click and then you can do your thing and she's gonna run like this okay so now obviously with this what we did is we put our prompt in here but what if we got like 20 prompts that we want to go through we don't want to type them all okay well that's what we're gonna play with today so first before we do that what we're going to do is we're gonna click on our manager up here okay and we're just gonna click on this custom nodes manager and now I've already got mine installed, but you're going to type in Inspire, okay? And we're going to grab what's called this Comfy UI Inspire Pack. So just go ahead. If you don't have it already installed, click it. And then you're going to go ahead and um, click the Install button, okay? This is all you're going to need. Then it will go ahead and restall. Uh, uh, it'll install. And then you're going to go ahead and... Um, It'll, it'll prompt you to restart your whole Comfy UI. So you'll click the restart or it'll give a prompt up and it will do everything for you. Once that is done, it'll pop you back up here and you'll want to reload your screen. Okay? And we'll be ready to go. Now, before we do move on, I should have pointed this out. If you don't already have Comfy UI installed, just go to a comfy.git. God, going fast. Sometimes my typing just goes out the window. And it will take you over here to uh, the site, and you'll be able to grab a free installation here of Comfy UI. And that's gonna set up your Sage Attention, your Tritons, all of that. So if you don't have that, get this, install it, then run it, install it, your Inspire Pack like we were just talking about. Now, this is so easy, okay? We're gonna go here. Now, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to create new nodes. So I'm just going to right-click 
and I'm going to see here where it says add node. I'm going to click that and then I'm going to go scroll down here. You see it's all in alphabetical order and I'm going to click on the inspire pack. So that was what we just installed. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to go up here to where it says prompts. So see, I click nodes, add node. It opens up this window. I click that and then it opens up this one. Then we're going to go another net. This is called nested. Okay. These are nested menus. I'm going to click prompt. Now what I'm going to do is up here, it says load prompts. We're going to say load prompts from file. So we're going to click this. Okay. That's going to create this node here. And eventually what we're going to do is connect this over to here. And here are the outputs. So we do need one other thing. So we're going to right click and we're going to go add nodes. And we're going to scroll back down to our inspire pack, click it, go back to our prompts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click this one here that says unzip prompt. Okay. So we're going to click that. And so I don't quite know how this works, but it, I guess it brings them in and puts them into a thing and then breaks it apart. I, I don't understand why it says unzip. It doesn't matter. We don't have to worry about that. Suppose we could ask chat GPT, but what we're going to do is up here where it says zip prompts, we're just going to grab this and notice I got this string now. Ooh. I'm going to connect it right there. Easy. And then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect these things over here. So notice, we have our load checkpoint and this is the model that we're going to use. So if you're using flux or if you're using a realistic vision or whatever you want, you know, you, even your anime or your NSFW, whatever it is, it's not going to matter because you're going to see that the model, this model thing is going over here, but um, these clips, they're going over to your positive prompt and your negative prompt. So what we're going to do, we're going to hijack these. And we're going to take this prompt thing and notice you didn't see it there. It's kind of hidden. There's a button right there. So we're going to click it and we're going to throw the positive prompt. It's just going to grab it from our list. Notice how when I did that, this uh, blanked out. So watch, I'm going to take it away. Uh, I guess right click on it. And <laughs> ah, how do I get it to go away? Um, I guess we'll click and then say reroute it. It was, oh good Lord. Okay, I pressed escape key. I'm just gonna go uh, reroute for now. Okay, and it's gonna put it there. Oh, they're disconnected, good God. Okay, this is what we do. We right click on it and then we go disconnect links. Okay, notice when it's th there, I can actually type in here. But if I take here, all of a sudden that blanks out because it's not going to matter. We're going to get it from here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the negative prompt. So I'm going to put it there. It's going to highlight that out. So now we've still got our checkpoint. It's flowing through everything, but we added these prompts. And if I click over here, it says prompt file, you're going to see the different prompts. So I've got girl prompts here. Uh, so like redhead girl, you know, sitting at a beach or something like that. So we're going to click that. Okay. Now what we can do is I'm going to click and I'm going to show you how to create these files, but now watch what's have. I think I got like five in there. I'm going to go ahead and click run and it's going to flow through here and it's going to generate like five of them and then it's going to output them. So we're going do, 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 you see the case sampler over there and then it's done. So let's go see what we got. And there we go. And so it created four images that were based on that text thing okay so there you go now i could have put 50 in there i could have put 20 in there in fact if we go over to here you'll see it has a load cap so you could say if there's 200 in there you could say only do 50 of them or, or whatever you want you tell it where to start at it so okay well i did 50 of them let's go through uh you know let's start at 51. so you can set this up also notice this reload button here it says reload the file this is a caching issue if the value has changed, well, what we want to do is say if the file has changed. So if we make any changes to that file, we want it to reload the new file. And it's going to do the same thing. I could do the same thing again. Click run. And it's going to go ahead and recreate the images. Notice it, my seed is randomized. So if I kept the same seed here, I'd get the same images every time. But with this, it's going to change it because it's a random seed. Okay. There we go. All right. So that's easy. That is all you have to do. And you can do that with any workflow. Okay. All you do is you add in 
the prompt from file, the unzip, and you connect it to the clips. That's it. Okay. So now let me go ahead and show you how to uh, actually get the file that that's going to go to. Okay, so we're going to hop over to our file explorer and we're going to go to the outside of our comfy UI folder, so where we install this. Then we're going to go inside of it, okay? Once we're inside, we're going to find this thing that says custom nodes. Let's click it, because what we did is we installed a custom node. We installed the Inspire pack, didn't we? So now what we got to do is scroll through here and find where it put the Inspire pack. Do, do, do. There it is, okay? You can also type it up here and then it'll find it, but we're gonna go in here and then we're going to look here, it says prompts. And then we've got this folder called examples. And look at, there's my girl prompts, hey! So let's create a new, uh, and actually if we open this up, it's gonna open up into a uh, notepad window like this, okay? And you'll see beautiful redheaded Irish woman using a computer, traditional Irish clothing, natural light, cozy room. Here she's connected to an old computer using a fantasy neural interface. That's why she had those weird things on her head. Okay, and so on and so on. The main thing being noticed, we've got something that says positive and it's got a colon and then it has the words. Okay, and we want to avoid putting parentheses or anything that's going to throw it out. But notice it's got all this stuff. And then it says, and then on a new line, it says negative with a, with a colon and then the same thing. Okay, so I could put in here, I could whatever on put malformed deformed those are ones I like to put low quality whatever okay um, but here notice it's got these things here now I'm not actually sure how many there are here one two three four five six seven eight nine twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty I think there's 22 so I don't know if that's important if it's important to have exactly 22 but here's what we're gonna do to get another file I'm just gonna go ahead and copy all this okay and then we're gonna pop back to our browser and I'm gonna go over to chat GPT and I am going to say to chat PGT say um, write me write 10 prompts about um, a beautiful dark Haired, um, I don't know, um, <laughs> Romanian, Romanian woman, uh, be creative, um, and diverse. And then I'm going to say, format the output to follow this uh, to follow this example or whatever this format okay now I like to put open brackets here or uh, because then I can paste my stuff in and the computer knows the chatbot knows I'm talking about everything within those brackets it's just kind of a nice way to format stuff for it especially if afterwards I have um, more words then they'll say like it'll know I was talking about this packet of stuff that I can go on but let's just go ahead and do that and notice it's going to go do that for us. Beautiful dark haired Romanian woman wearing a traditional rug on a loom. Beautiful dark haired Romanian woman with a violin performing foggy Carpathian movement. Okay, and notice it's doing it all for us. So now all we got to do is we can just copy this. Okay, let's go back to our file explorer and let's create a new full file and go new. And we'll go text document and let's just call it Romanian woman.txt. Okay, now if we go ahead and open that up. Notice we've got a blank thing. We can just paste that in there and we can hit Control S and save it. Okay. Now, if we go back to our browser, we can go back to our Comfy UI here and let's just go ahead and click Reload. And now, yo, sup? We're going to scroll into here and notice if we click on here, oh, look at that. We've got Romanian woman. So um, we've got this set for a file change. We're going to start at zero. We could go ahead and uh, put the steps up if we want it to be extra nice, whatever. Um, we've got our width and our height, and then we'll just click Run. Now it's going to go through there, and there should be 10 of those that pops through. Okay. And we'll just kind of wait for it. What was that, like five, six, seven, eight? Who do we appreciate?
Wow. Okay. Should be just about done. And there it goes. Goes to decode. And there it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can click on it and we can see the different images we made. Oh, it's beautiful. Those are nice. This is just a cheesy little model called Deliberate. Um, but those are great. Look at that. And that all came through adding that in there. Real easy, okay? And we'll walk through that one more time for you before we end the video. Okay, so for this one, let's load up a Hunyuan workflow here, okay? Um, and this is the classic group of ethereal figures, large mushroom heads. But let's do the same thing here. Notice this one's not going to have a negative prompt, so we're just going to be using positive. So but same thing, we're just going to go ahead and right click, and we're going to click our add nodes, scroll down to inspire pack, prompts, load prompts from file. Okay, same thing, and then one more, right click, add node, inspire pack, and prompt, and then unzip. Okay, same thing, we're just going to go to here. Now this one with the positive, we're going to put it to here. Notice it blanks it out again. But notice there's no place to go with the negative. So we're just not going to worry about that um, and just won't read it. So the same thing would happen. Now, I'm not going to click this because it's going to take 15 million years to go through these because these are actual videos. But it's the same thing. Now you can actually set this up with your list. Same thing. We went over. Remember, we were over here on the File Explorer and... We went to our, hold on. We were outside our Comfy UI. We clicked into our Comfy UI, went to Custom Nodes, found the Inspire Pack, and then we found our prompts and our examples, and then we created our thing. Same thing. So you put one here called Hun Yuan Prompts, whole bunch of them, set them, leave them overnight, and it's just going to work on them one through or one by one over the night real simple all you need are these things isn't that isn't that easy isn't that easy so much of the stuff we think is so difficult um and really it's really basic but uh when you don't understand something you tend to think it's a lot harder than it actually is even when it, you're looking at it, you're like you know it's like talking to a girl and you're just like oh my god but then you just got to go do it once you figure out how to do it it's so easy. you're like oh well, that was easy you just go hey what's up and it's the same with this comfy ui so all right well there you go i think maybe that is really good for you and you have probably taken your game to the next level so good on you with that i'm proud of you you're doing a great job keep it up um, if you do find this video helpful feel free to um you know, like the video or buy a super sticker that keeps me in the game. This is my full-time job. So uh, any help is always appreciated. Check out our memberships and we will connect with you down the road. Yo!